Welcome back guys to the Orlando Huskies franchise and this week we're taking on the Carolina Panthers as Huskies 3-11 on the season but they will be at home in week 16 as we're trying to eliminate the Carolina Panthers from having any chance of making the playoffs as they're about a game and a half out of a wild card position right now. Here comes Josh in the offense as we saw his stats, 3,000 yards, 18 touchdowns, 18 interceptions. Gonna have to play a lot better in this one if we want to upset the Panthers and eliminate them from the playoffs. It's first and 10 now from the 25 yard line. Hand the ball off to Dries Stevens and we have an offensive lineman going backwards. And then Stevens is getting tackled. Now it's gonna be a second and 11 from the 24. They're a loss of one on first down. Now the way you want to start the game is the Kemp just missed his block completely and Damien's able to at least get one on the play as Josh had to throw that one very, very quickly. As now it's going to be a third and 10 from the 25. See if this Huskies offense could do anything on third down. As Josh is picked off on the run, threw it behind Drew Stevens. And a bad throw by Josh, trying to force it there. And the Panthers will begin with the ball at the 26 yard line as their QB. I believe it's Noel takes the field for the first time this game. Gonna be, and he's a superstar with his running back as a superstar as well. First and 10 under center, and he checks it down. And CJ misses a tackle, and Dylan finally pushes him out as Noel completes his first pass to Prompton for 15 yards on the play. It's now gonna be a first and 10. From the 12 yard line. See what this Huskies defense can do here. As Johnson with a pick. On this on the play. A great pick by Johnson. Absolutely had the tight end clamped right there. And a great way to start on defense. After a poor performance last week. And it's going to be first and 10 from the 15 now. Both quarterbacks have thrown a pick. And this one is hand. Handed off to Drew Stevens and a good block from Daniel Fernandez. And Stevens is able to pick up seven on the play. It's now going to be a second and three from the 23 yard line. Josh under center, two tight ends on the field. It's a play action pass here. As Josh hits Hunter and Hunter with a drop once again. He dropped that same pass last week. Now he's doing it this week. It's going to be a third and three from the 23 and Huskies offense has been really poor this season at, on third downs, but this time they will pick it up and they keep the drive alive as Brian Temple, one of the defense linemen for the Panthers seems to be dealing with some sort of injury now. It's going to be first and 10 from the 29 yard line. As Josh tries to go across the middle of the field to Jason Blacklock, just overthrows it. And Josh is still struggling. We don't know what we have to do for Josh to pick it up. But he's gone backwards in this one. As it's 2nd and 10 from the 29. As Josh is now hit. And he, it's a strip sack. And the Panthers are going to pick it up for a touchdown. As since we, since we beat the 49ers. This has not been the same Josh. And... Don't really know what to do about it as he leads the NFL in turnovers. Not only since that week, since we beat the 49ers, but in the overall season, as at one point, three weeks ago, maybe four, Josh only had 11 picks on the season. And he, now he's just, he has 19 picks so far. He's thrown eight cents and multiple fumbles. First and 10, going to hand the ball off to Drew Stevens. 
as Jason Blacklock is hurt trying to block on the play. It looks like a hamstring injury, and that's not good for this offense as they're losing their second best receiver. Sonny's going to have to take that roll on the outside now. Now going to be a first and 10. Josh is picked off once again. The corner jumped the route, and Josh is picked once again. And the Panthers are going to start inside the Huskies' territory. That's the third straight turnover for Josh and the offense. It's Carrington and or Grimes and CJ able to hold Thomas. So only a three-yard gain right there. As quadrep strain and... That is going to be a huge loss in this one for the offense as they are already struggling. Jason Blacklock won't return. As McMillan forces an incompletion on second and seven right there. Great breakup by him. Now it's going to be a third and seven. After the Broncos went six for six last week on third downs against us. Can they get off the field here? As Grimes and Wiggins forcing some pressure. As they tackle Noel one yard short of the first down line. And it looks like they're going to keep the offense on the field. Because it's going to be first and ten. We're first, fourth and one from the 22. And I was about to say it's going to be first and ten, but Thomas... Bounces this one out to the outside and takes it into the end zone. Touchdown Panthers as they go up 14-0 early in this one. This has been an awful start for the Huskies. They are already down 14-0. And who knows? We If Josh keeps playing like this, three turnovers in four minutes... Jeff Dean might have to start warming up on that sideline and coming in early than, earlier than expected. Look at Drew Stevens' numbers on the season, closing in on 1,000 yards. See what this offense could do without Jason Blacklock on the field. Because we haven't seen the offense without Jason since early last season. As Hunter makes one man miss and then is hit hard on the play. As it seems like Josh is only really able to connect with Hunter at the moment. As he's struggling to fit it to anybody else's. It's first and 10 from the 44 now. As Kylo's open on the drag route. Kylo catches it and has room to run. Down to the 30 yard line. and Hopefully this, awake, this waken, wakes up Josh. As he has two straight completions now. It's going to be a. First and 10 from the 30-yard line. Danny Barnes in motion. As Josh tries to check it down, and they're calling that a fumble, and I don't know about that. Josh's arm was moving forward, but they're going to keep the call on the field, and they're saying it's a fumble. As it's now going to be a second and 23 from the 43. As Josh is nearly picked as he threw it behind Connor Kelly on that one. Nearly picked off. Now it's going to be a third and 23. Can the Huskies even get anything positive on the play? As it's a screen to Hunter. Hunter just has no blockers on the play. And Simmons is hurt trying to block. As the Huskies bring out Steamy Leak. To try and kick his career long 55 yards. Seemy Leak kick is up. And it is good. Barely. Just barely able to hit it. Seemy Leak now extending his career long to 55 yards. As it looks like Simmons will be okay. As it's 14 to 3 now. Huskies get on the board, but. An awful way to end the drive. As this has been an extremely long first quarter. It's going to be first and 10 for the Panthers though. To begin this drive. At the 25 yard line. And the defense is going to have to provide a stop here. If they want to 
have a chance in this one. As it's a great play. As Noel breaks one tackle. And it's Johnson trying to fight, strip that ball loose. But Noel picks up 15 on the read option. And a great play by Noel right there. Taking the handoff or taking the option play and picking up a chunk play on it. It's now going to be first and 10 from the from the 40th. We send the blitz and the blitz isn't able to get there. And, or the blitz got there. Noel just broke off of the sack and then throws a dime to McMillan on first down. Now extends. Going to be another first and 10 from the 49 yard line. Noel switching the play. As CJ coming in hot. But Noel takes the check down. It's going to throw it to Kemp for a check down and just run for another 10. As it's really been there. That's all they really had to do so far in this one. It's going to be first and 10 from the 39 yard line. Another check down for this team as Dylan and McMillan able to bring him down for only a 7 yard gain and finally able to get to a second down this drive as it's second and three from the 32 yard line now Noel in gun as an overthrow by Noel Shane had okay coverage a little behind him but nonetheless still forces a third down and it's a big third down here as it's just too easy for this Panthers offense as they extend the drive once more down to the 17 yard line. And this is just not how we expected this game to go. As that is finally the end of the first quarter as that felt like an eternity. As it's now going to be a first and 10 from the 17 yard line. See what the Huskies can do on defense here. As the Panthers decide to run it with Thomas and someone got pancaked and that is Shane O'Neal on his butt. And the Panthers are down to the two yard line as it's going to be first and ten from the two. Or first and goal from the two. No under center here. And McMillan just slightly out of position on Lindsey right there. And it's a touchdown, Panthers going up 21 to 3 in this one. Panthers take a 21 to 3 lead, and offense found a little bit of juice last drive. Let's see if they could do the same in this one. As Gage will be able to return this one. As just no one is blocking on these kick returns. And the Huskies will start at the 18-yard line now. It's going to be first and 10 from the 18. Expect to see a lot of Connor Kelly and Mike Haywood this game. But don't forget about Hunter Purcell, who's open across the middle of the field. And Josh overthrows him. As Josh is struggling mightily. And don't know how to help him right now. As it's going to be second and 10 from the 18-yard line. As Josh throws one up to Damian, who ends up dropping it. Good play by the linebacker who had him blanketed. Josh tried to throw one up for his receiver, make a play on the ball, unable to do so. Now it's going to be a third and 10 from the 18 yard line. As Josh is hit as he throws it once more, incomplete, and the Huskies punt. This team is going to have to do something a little bit different on offense. As this is starting to get frustrating for the defense and the fans. As we'd like to play better at home for these fans. Give them something to cheer about at least. And it's just offense has failed to do so so far. Same with the defense as it's going to be a first and 10 from the 23. As picks up a gain of nine on first down is McMillan. Pretty sure he's tackled by McMillan. It's now going to be a second and one from the 45. 
Noel hands the ball off to Thomas here. Picks up the first down, barely picks it up, but picks it up nonetheless. It's now going to be a first and ten. From the 46 yard line. It's going to be a stretch play for the Panthers. As Shane tried to make a tackle there. Dylan misses a tackle and Gage and Shane finally able to bring him down at the 27 yard line. As Thomas is running wild on him right now. Breaking tackle after tackle. It's going to be first and 10 from the 27. Noel under center here. As CJ and Caden able Never mind. That's broken tackle after broken tackle, but that's a poor throw by Noel as it's picked off. And Wilcox will return this one for six as it's his second pick six of the season for Russell Wilcox. As Caden and CJ came in absolutely screaming, but couldn't bring him down. Luckily for us, they didn't because Noel threw one right to us and Wilcox picks it off and brings it back to for six. As Caden came in super fast on that one. Don't know how he did it. And CJ right there to try and clean him up. Great play by the defense. Scoring more points than the offense right now. And unfortunately for the defense, they're going to have to come back on the field after that. And Nate Thomas closing in on 1,000 yards on the season for the, the Panthers running back in. He will most likely get it against us, I'm not going to lie, as he only needs 17 yards. As on first and 10, pick up of about 6 on the play, as Noel has 2 picks on the game so far. And we'd like to make that 3, maybe 4, put us back in this one, as it's going to be 2nd and 4 from the 31 yard line. 4 minutes remain in this half. As Noel went across the middle of the field and barely missed his receiver. As the middle was wide open. It's now going to be a third and four from the 31. Can this defense get off the field? As Shane isn't able to stop Thomas. And Thomas had a lot of room to run after the broken tackle. Down at the 48 yard line. It's now going to be 1st and 10 from the 48. Noel under center. Hands the ball off to Thomas. And Shane brings, brings him down after the missed tackle from McMillan. Got to figure something out on defense. Slow him down at least. As it's going to be a 2nd and 6 from the 48 yard line. As Bryson Connor picks the ball off for the third pick of the game for Noel. What a pick by Bryson Connor. Don't know how he saw the ball, but we will take it. As this Huskies defense is playing great right now. Three turnovers in the first half, and the offense is going to have to score. Respond to these turnovers. Offense. Coach Paul could be losing this locker room if they can't score. If they can't start the win. As Jason Blacklock out for the game hurts this offense a lot. As Josh fits a tight, tight window to Jamal Lacey nearly picked off. But somehow, some way. Jamal is able to hang on to it. And that's a first down. Huskies onto the Panthers side of the field. And a good block by the guard right there. So Drew Stevens can get past that first defender. Able to pick up five on the play. It's now going to be a second and five from the 39 yard line. It's a play action pass to Drew Stevens. As Hunter tries to go up and make an amazing catch. And. Just another poor read from Josh there. As it's going to be a third and five from the 39. 
The Huskies are at least in field goal range here. Five seconds left before this two-minute warning. And Hunter unable to hang on to it as it was a good ball by Josh. Just unable to hang on to it as the Huskies will go for it here. Trying to spark a life into this offense. As Damian Harrison drops it on fourth down. He was wide open. Would have converted an ugly drop for this Huskies offense. As they fail the defense once more. Shane just a bit out of position there. Nearly got the pick though. As it could have been the fourth pick of the game for Noel. It's now going to be a first and 10 from the 35 for the Panthers. As they're already on the Husky side of the field. As Shane with a great play on that one to force an incompletion. Second and 10 from the 35 yard line. As Carrington finally got some pressure and forces Noel to throw the ball away on second and 10. And now it's going to be a third and long. Third and long. Kansas, can this defense get off the field once more for this, this game? And it's a screen pass to Thomas and Johnson and Dylan able to bring him down. And the Huskies will call a timeout here. As it's 4th and 5 from the 30 yard line. Field goes up and it's good. The Huskies go down 24 to 10 with a minute left in this second half or second quarter. As they try and find a spark plug on offense. Something to just get them going a little bit. As maybe a QB change could do that. But Josh will do this 2 minute drill for the offenses gauge has a nice hole just unable to hit his burst of speed past the last defender now gonna be a first and 10 from the 28 yard line two tight ends for the huskies on the field as josh hits hunter on the sideline it's now first and 10 from the 49 yard line Good chunk play on first down for the Huskies. As Josh hits Connor Kelly for another first down on back-to-back -back plays. First down for the Huskies. Offense is moving a little bit. It's now going to be a first and 10 from the 40-yard line. As Josh throws up a dangerous pass to Damian Harrison. He's blanketed on that one by multiple defenders. Now 33 seconds left in the second half. From the 40 yard line. Motions Drew Stevens to the right. As Josh delivers a dime to Damian. Who's able to hang on to it and get out at the 14 yard line. Under pressure and Josh threw an absolute laser to him. It's now going to be a first and 10 from the 14 yard line. The screen pass to Drew Stevens. Stevens has blockers in front. Steps out at the seven with 21 seconds remaining. Third and seven from the seven. It's a handoff to Drew Stevens and Stevens has a hole. Stevens into the end zone. Touchdown Huskies. They are right back in this one. 24 to 17. Great drive from the offense right there. As the Huskies come within seven now of the Panthers. And a poor decision to squid it on that play is now be a third. We're first and 10 from the 42 yard line. With three timeouts for the Panthers. Seven on first down right there. It's not going to be a 
Thir second and three from the 49. As Noel throw th throws this one away. There's a poor pass right there. And it's going to be a first and 10. Or third and three from the 49 yard line. Can the Huskies defense hold them here? As Dylan gets beat on the drag route. As the Panthers will send out their field goal team. Try and kick in this long field goal here. Three seconds left before half. It is up. And it's no good. Barely misses it to the left. Giving the Huskies a little bit more life in this one. Because they're going to have to run the ball more in the second half. And defense has really played well. Just have to tackle better. As the Panthers will get the ball to begin the second half. As James Aldridge kicks this one deep into the end zone. As you see, Knowles 13 of 22, 140, a touchdown, and three picks on the game. As the defense has played really well for a majority of the game. Some, some drives, they've been okay. Tackling does have to get better, but... And as you see a tackling right there, only a three-yard gain on Thomas. Now going to be a second and seven for this Panthers deep or offense here. Noel hands the ball off to Thomas and Johnson with a great one-on-one -on -one tackle in open field. Only a pickup of one. Third and six now for this Huskies defense. Would love to get off the field here. And a great catch by the receiver to hang on to it as Johnson hit him hard. Lindsey, great catch by him. He's also the one that has the touchdown for the Panthers. It's going to be first and 10 from the 38-yard line. As Johnson shoots the gap and a tackle of one on the play. A great play by Johnson right there. Forces a second and 11 here. From the 37. As Willie came in hot. And Shane O'Neal forces an incompletion. It's going to be a third and 11 from for the Panthers. As the Huskies send a blitz. And Dylan not able to hang with his man as the blitz was coming in. First down Panthers and they're on the Husky side of the field. Dylan just had to hang on for another split second and a blitz would have got there. It's now a first down and the Husky sent another blitz. So Dylan once again beat on a, on a quick out route. It's going to be a third and two now. From the 28 yard line. As Noel takes off and McMillan tried to kill him but unable to as it's a first down for the Panthers. As it's going to be first and 10 from the 19 yard line. The play action pass here. And someone was absolutely torched on that play. Don't know who it was but a touchdown Panthers nonetheless. And they go back up two scores in this one. As the Huskies come out on the on the field for the first time this game. First time for this half as Gage will return this one. As a nice hole able to bring it to the 26 yard line. Nearly broke that one. Seems like the blocking has gotten a little better on the kick kickoffs and it's going to be a first and 10 from the 26 yard line now. Have to get Drew Stevens involved as they do on the first play. It's a handoff to Drew. Picks up six on the game. As they can still run their normal offense. Don't have to switch to a pass heavy offense just yet. As they still got time as it's second and four. 
hand the ball off to Drew Stevens again, and Stevens has a hole, has a big hole now. Pass midfield down to the 44 yard line. A great run by Drew Stevens. It's now going to be first and 10 from the 44. Josh under center here. It's a play action pass. As Josh fits it over the linebacker's head to Kylo. And Kylo's able to get down to the 20 yard line. And Josh has looked better after that first quarter. An awful first quarter that was, but he's been way better in this one. This is first and 10 from the 20 yard line. Hands the ball off to Steven. Stevens tries to power his way through one. Only able to get through two. Only able to get two yards on the play. As it's gonna be a second and eight now from the 18 yard line. And Jamal Lacey probably should have just dropped that one as Josh threw it behind them on the play. And a loss of one. It's now going to be a third and nine from the 20 yard line. Third and nine. That's Kylo's wide open. Touchdown, Kylo. Huskies. Come closer in this one. Down seven. As James Aldridge will kick this one deep. As the Panthers only have a seven point lead now. Late in the third quarter. As Nate Thomas has had a great day for the Panthers so far. It's going to be a first and 10 from the 25 for the Panthers. As they run the ball up the middle, and CJ and Grimes able. To push back the offense line into Brown and the rest are able to come and make a great tackle. As it's going to be second and 10 from the 25. Bunch formation for the Panthers as they toss the ball to Thomas and Thomas able to pick up about eight and a half on the play. They're calling the nine. Finally able to bring him down though. It's going to be a third and one. As Gage Bloodgood picks off Noel for the fourth time this game. A great play by Gage right there to pick him off. And the Huskies have the ball inside the Panthers territory as that's the fourth pick of the game. And the, they hand the ball off to Drew Stevens and Damian. If he would have hit that block, Drew Stevens would have been walking into the end zone. Stevens with a nice gain on first down there. As it's going to be 1st and 10 from the 20. Danny Barnes in the in the game now. As Josh hits Kylo on a hitch route. 2nd and inches now. That will most likely do it for this first half. 3rd quarter. As the Huskies have fought all the way back. And are only down 7 threatening the score. And this offense finally tie the game after being down 14 nothing and having a horrendous first quarter it's a play action pass here as Josh hits Eric Franklin on first down or second down down to the two first and goal now Eric Franklin with a great catch on that one great route by Franklin now a first and goal from the two yard line they hand the ball off to Damian and Damian fighting his way down at the one Thought Damien got in on the second effort right there. It's now going to be a second and goal from the one. Pistol formation here for the Huskies. Play action pass. As Josh had Damien in the flat for the touchdown. Tried to go his way. Unable to do so. It's going to be a third and goal from the one now. The Huskies hand the ball back right to Drew Stevens. Great blocking up front. Touchdown Huskies. And they have tied this one up. They have tied it up early in the fourth quarter here. After the fourth turnover of the game for Noel. And the Huskies looking to end their playoff hopes. 
as James Aldridge will kick this one deep. Too deep and it will be a touchback and the Panthers will start at the 25 yard line. First and 10 from the 25. Huskies send the blitz and CJ and Grimes able to tackle Thomas for a loss of one and CJ has really been balling out since coming back from injury. This is the number one overall pick we've been waiting for. Now gonna be a second and 11. As a great run but CJ set that edge. So push the offense lineman into the hole that Thomas wanted to go in. A great group effort on the tackle. It's now third and 10 from the 25 yard line. As Johnson tackles him and they're saying he got the first. I wish this game had coach, coaches challenges because I challenged that one as that was definitely not the first down. It's now gonna be first and 10 from the 25 yard line. Husky send the blitz. And Jerry Patrick, the rookie safety, unable to make a play on Irving. I still don't like that call. I think he was short. I, he, I really believe he was short on that one. But it's going to be a first and 10 from the 45-yard line. And a good throw right there by Noel. Now they're moving down to the 27-yard line. Five minutes left in this fourth quarter. Defense is going to have to try and get one more stop for this team as it's first and 10 from the 27. As CJ with a great play right there, not laying the offensive lineman, push him back, only able to pick up three on the play is Thomas. Now going to be a second and seven from the 24-yard line. Noel switching the play at the line here. As Willie came in hot, Shane able to tackle the receiver for only a gain of two. It's going to be a third and five now. From, it's a run play. Thomas able to walk into the end zone as the Huskies were caught off guard trying to make adjustments. And they didn't expect a run on that play on third and five and Easily walked up the middle. Panthers go back up seven on the play. See if this Huskies offense can respond. As they've kind of found a rhythm late in this one. As Gage will just take this one. Leave it in the end zone as it's a touchback for the Huskies. It's going to be a first and ten from the 25 now. Josh runs on first down, only able to pick up one before diving forward, not wanting to get hit and fumbled. Second and nine now from the 26. As Josh hits Mike Haywood for the first time in this game, catch of about five on the play. It's now going to be a third and four. From the 31 yard line. As Kylo catches that one. And it's a first down Huskies. And they're going to have to go a little faster here. It's first and 10 from the 37. Only 220 left in this one. As Damian catches this one. Turns up field. Gets out at the 49 yard line. And a good catch for Damian on the play. It's his third of the game for 40 yards. Going to be first and 10 from the 49 yard line. Two tight ends still on the field for the Huskies. As Josh has to roll out and it's going to have to throw this one away. As the pressure got there quickly. It's going to be a second and 10 now from the 49 yard line. Right before the two minute warning. Can this offense score? And Kylo wide open across the middle of the field, unable to get him the ball. And if you looked further downfield, 
I believe Connor Kelly was running wild. Wide open on that. Third and 10 now from the 49. As Connor Kelly with a great catch. Puts him down at the 17 yard line. A great catch by Connor on the play. And do your boogie, Connor. Do your boogie. First and 10 from the 17. Second catch of the game for Connor. The play action pass. It's Damien in the flat here. Damien runs down to the one yard line. And the Huskies down at the one with a minute and 20 left in this one. Hands the ball off to Drew Stevens. They lose a couple on the play. Gonna have to go no huddle. It's going to be a second and ten, second and goal from the three-yard line now. As Josh is hit as he throws it, now a third and goal. This is not what the Huskies wanted. Third and goal from the three. It's a play-action pass here. And Josh is sacked, and it's a strip sack, and Drew Stevens can't pick it up. Strip sack on Josh, and that one might do it. As a first down, we'll end this the game. The fourth turnover of the game for Josh. As the Huskies defense swarm and Thomas on first down. So far doing a good job here. Second and 10 from the 12-yard line. As that will be it, that is game over. As Thomas breaks one loose. As a poor way to end this game for the offense. Offense thought they had an easy job scoring. And they will end up losing this one by seven. As the Huskies fall to 3-12 and 12 on this season, and the Panthers keep their playoffs hope alive. As a mediocre game from Josh has started to pick it up in the second half and then had that fumble. Third fumble of the game, only lost two of them though. As it was kind of an all-around game for all the receivers, as we really needed a bunch of players stepping up in the loss of Jason Blacklock. As we had a couple of drops from receivers, but Connor Kelly had that huge catch. And Johnson led the team in tackles. A couple of tackles, a loss, four players. No sacks on the game, but we had four picks. One from Johnson, a pick six from Wilcox, a pick from Bryson Connor, and a pick from Gage. No pass deflections, no forced fumbles. And that one will do it as the Panthers hang on late in this one. And I'll see you guys in week 17. Peace.